Hello and welcome to the NBS show. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. I wish to take the talking piñata and beat its head open so I may feast upon its sweetie goodness. Uh, have you been playing Viva Piñata again, Silver? Maybe. We need to talk about that later on, my friend. And also joining us is Sapphire Heart Song. I came for the tea, and only the tea. Give me my tea! I was promised tea. Would you like ginseng or green tea? Green. Give me my green. Oh, how boring. You should have gotten for the ginseng. It could sing. Ugh. But anywho, on this episode of NBS Show, we are going to review Season 7, Episode 12, Discordant Harmony. In this episode, Discord invites Fluttershy to his realm for tea, but he worries she won't be comfortable there and begins to change it and himself. So, this episode was fun. I highly enjoyed it. And before we hop into reviews, uh, first impressions. Uh, last time I went for silver. Now, Sappy, what do you think? I like this episode. It was a good episode. In all seriousness, no. I'm not the biggest Discord fan, but I enjoy his company. Except for when he's being a childish, um, you know. Man child? Except for when he's being a child, yeah. <laughs> Alright. A child, a child, a childishnessless? <clears throat> yes, yes indeed. Oh wow, All right. Anyways, when it came to the fact that Discord was actually trying to have Flyer Shy over for tea, oh yay, we get to visit Discord's little pocket dimension again, and I enjoyed how sweet... Discord was being throughout the entire episode, like, even though he was kind of being a jerk to everybody else, his main concern was Fluttershy. However, putting someone else over yourself isn't always a good idea, and this definitely is seen in Discord's case. Alright, alright. And Silva, what do you think? Na 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 shipping. Na 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 shipping. I agree. Shipping. Shipping. Fluttercord. How's that? I highly agree. I don't fully ship it, but I can see why this would be so much fuel for the good people. Okay, okay. Who's your ship then? Yeah. This was a lot of fun. And uh I will admit, with Discord making himself normal, for a while there it was losing energy in the middle. You just sort of feel like, oh, this is this is not my Discord. This could not be the true Delancey. And and yet when Fluttershy uh, gets involved and you get to see her craziness, it's it's simultaneously adorable and just fun. <laughs> and so it it is a celebration of opposites attract. And I agree with Sapphire that in many ways this did uh, the whole don't change yourself for another person better than Simple Ways tried. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, Simple Ways just got kind of embarrassing after a while. I, but that's the fun part, I guess. It can be, but there's a there's a limit to how far you can go down that rabbit hole, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. says the guy who just watched the new Voltron episode, The Voltron Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's episode four. <laughs> uh, the Voltron Show is... like a kid from the ring. Uh, Voltron Show is but fun. But anyway... Yep. And as for me, this episode was a fun watch. It sets up the whole... Thing of how much Discord cares for Fluttershy, and he even states that Fluttershy was her first best friend. She was the first pony willing to give him a shot and to see him for what he is. And seeing how Fluttershy being really excited to go to Discord's realm is just so adorable. She she was expecting the unexpected and got that. Like, oh wow, you set yourself up, babe. Uh, but still, uh, it was such a fun episode to watch. And the ponies around them, granted, it was a total 180 of personality. How could Fluttershy like someone like you? You're total anarchist. While Fluttershy is like, reform. Like, she is the, uh, she is the most timid creature out there. But still, um, 
I'm just saying stuff right now. But anywho, um, let's head into the review. If you guys at home have not watched this yet, I do highly recommend and go and watch it. It's been what? To June. Now we're in October. I think you guys should have watched this by now. But anywho, um, welcome back. And we start off with our heroes having a tea party. Uh, we see Discord in Fluttershy's hut having some, what do you call this? Sandwiches, finger foods, and tea. Yay, tea time. And Discord puts a new spin on finger food. Which I always appreciate a good visual pun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, having, <laughs> having that is just much so awesome. And well, this got asked for some more sugar cubes and Fluttershy's out. This got just says I could pop them in and Fluttershy declines saying that she needs to go to the market to buy, well, more stuff. And well, this hits Discord and Discord thoughts that, hey, uh, you know what? I should host the next tea party because you're my best friend. That's what friends do. We host tea parties together. Reciprocity from Discord. I mean, it shows how comfortable these two have gotten with one another. Considering that at one point their relationship was Fluttershy screaming that big dumb meanie. Mm-hmm. Oh, if we knew then what we know now. <laughs> that big dumb meanie. <laughs> no, but I I do like the development for these two characters. And... <laughs> I, I just can't stop thinking of the bonding or the male bonding that they had where Discord turned Fluttershy opposite. And yeah, even then, like, Fluttershy ain't taking no crap from him. Sassafras. <laughs> yeah. Although, 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 uh, Norman, I do have to point out that wouldn't qualify as male bonding. Well, unless you've had a very strange perception of Fluttershy this entire time. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just talking about that episode, like the male bonding episode. But still, um, yeah, <laughs> even though I, I mean, can't, I could, I could have resisted, but I chose not to. <laughs> you, <laughs> but still, um, <laughs> those two characters' development are just too awesome. And yeah, now Discord feels like, hey, it's my turn now. I'll set up. Let's head to my house tomorrow. I'll send you a cab or an Uber. The lease. So, once that's done, uh, Discord heads out and buys materials. He goes and buys um, tea, teapots, and other things, like napkins and so on. Before I move on, am I missing anything that you guys want to point out? Well, there is some the... tea. Hmm. I, ha- I have some tea. It's green. Can I have? Well, uh, sure, I'll just pour it in a thermos and mail it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boys. But first, you have to buy me a thermos. Okay. (laughs) Let me go my red bubble. Oh, God. Oh, wow. All right. But there is the scene in the park where Discord is literally talking to himself. (laughs) Sort of establishing how much Fluttershy means to him. Mm -hmm. And this is the Discord I like. Partly because I've been working on What About Discord review, scripting it out. It's the same as with Make New Friends But Keep Discord. When it's just him changing costumes, it's really not that interesting. It, you know, it's it's My Little Pony cosplay is magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when Discord is having an impact on his surroundings, when he's controlling the environment and making everyone around him a little bit uncomfortable or confused, uh-huh. that's where he's his most fun. As long as it's, you know, good-natured. True that. And I forgot to mention the scene where in front of the hut, uh, Discord keeps the tap running and it floods the hut. <laughs> And yeah, Fluttershy says, uh, could you please tidy it up, like, please? And he does, he does. And with the park scene, he's talking to himself in between an old mare. And the old mare is so confused, like, like, what? You're talking to me? I thought you were talking to yourself. And she turns to the right and, nope, he was not there. <laughs> oh, my hip is cracked from confusion. I'm old. <laughs> yep. Ah. And like you mentioned, Silver, the whole visual gag scene, and I, I think the writers here know what to do with uh, Discord and what they want them to do, because he puts on the jetpack, you think that, okay, he's going to be rocketing off. Nope, he just teleported away. Perception. Deceptions. Lies. <laughs> yep. And he 
And after that short teleportation, he pops into the tea store to buy teas. And, well, this court here... Uh, this court here is a guy who wants strange things and he wants some fancy tea like rose petal oh what does it turn me into rose or something like rose sips or that oh well, no it just tastes good and ginseng ginseng tea uh, what does it do um tea that sings no it just tastes good <laughs> this seems to be the mindset of how everyone around this court is like, Discord is the normal one, yet the others are strange. Actually, to draw a very strange analogy, uh, I'm reading uh, an IDW comic with the Transformers and a bunch of other Hasbro properties. Mm-hmm. Someone says to Soundwave, oh, so you have super hearing? I prefer to think everyone else is exceptionally deaf. <laughs> oh. And that's that's kind of what it is for Discord, too. They think, oh, you're a spirit of chaos? Uh, no, I think everyone else is just terribly boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but still, Discord will be Discord. And he buys the tea and pays a good amount. Yeah, he does a couple other things first. that I want to just point out how incredibly dark Discord can be. Oh, how so? Or perhaps how dark I am. All right. <laughs> oh, you. Okay, first off, making a ginseng that actually sings. Mm-hmm. Is it sentient? Because you're going to take one of these singing teas and you're going to dump it into scalding hot boiling water <laughs> for its inner to leak out into the, into the water and then feast upon the, the, its disgorged contents. Probably while it's going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Well, okay, so look, so look. You, you think of it that way, right? Think about it this way. The tea is relaxing in a hot bath, and suddenly he has an accident. So you're drinking the tea bag's poo? No, not that kind of accident. Number one. Norman, you are messed up, man. <laughs> well, you are seriously messed up. <laughs> you're messed up too. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the one who's simply dreaming that you're throwing into scalding water. You're the one who's saying, oh, it took a little leak, and I want to drink that. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's kind of- He's he's got you there, Norman. Norman, I, I don't think we should. I don't. I hope there aren't any children listening to you. You, you gross perverted soul. Ah, uh, you, you, uh, you, you. But anywho, after this, got validates his parking. Uh, we move. I, yeah. I apologize for Norman. We will have him committed to an institution. Uh, you. Oh, I'll get you back, my friend. Uh, but anywho, uh, we head to the teapot shop where Discord wants to buy teapots. Uh, and as per usual, it goes to Discord asking, what teapot do you have the best if possible? And we get a normal teapot. And, well, all teapots do the same thing. Whole water or whole hot water that contains tea and Poor. This guy wants something magical, and well, he just pops it himself, making a teapot that can fly. Yay! Yay. And this repeats. And this repeats. This repeats. He goes to the uh, party store to look for party favors, and he got a piñata. Um, he gets napkins. Uh, I wish this was real life, by the way. Napkin that are. F- self foldable and flying. Think of the possibilities. But think about giving a pinata sentience as well. <laughs> Are kids going to have as much f- fun when you, they hear it screaming and begging for mercy as they bludgeon it with their sticks? <laughs> Silver, that's just messed up. Oh, says you, Mr. <laughs> Mr. TPP. <laughs> oh, I'll get you. But really, when you, if you pause to think about this a little too, too much, you just realize, oh my god, this is wrong! You people are sick! You're sick! Well, that, that, that's the thing there, but you know what, no, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything, because I've seen a video of this one kid who has to hit the Spider-Man piñata, but ends up breaking down and giving it a hug. Yeah.
There was a commercial once where a pinata actually tried to take back the candy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Let's see here. I'm trying to remember, but I'll have to look that up. Yep. But anywho, um, while at the party store, Pinkie Pie noticed Discord and say, hey, what are you doing here? And Discord asked Pinkie Pie, you're the party pony, the expert at parties. I'm having Fluttershy over for a tea party. What should I do? Fluttershy, sorry, Pinkie Pie says, make her comfortable. That's about it. That's the best you can do. And yay, Discord goes with that plan and pays the... Pays the cashier um, a lot of bits and heads off. While Pinkie Pie asks, where could I get those folded, self-foldable flying napkins? It's the only other main space to make an appearance this episode. And, you know, it helps that she's voiced by the same actress. Part of me thinks they had to do this just so they could afford John Delancey. Uh, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. But anywho, once we arrive at Discord's realm, and Discord having this thought about making things comfortable for Fluttershy, he pops into his house and sees, oh, this is the exact opposite of comfortable for Fluttershy. Oh, this is weird. I I, I need to change things. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, sorry, are we still in Halloween? Uh, well, it's close. If you want to go to the Halloween thing, yes, it's close. Well, House of Horrors. Yeah, true. But, uh, okay, okay. I'm not sure if anyone's going to bring this up, but the piñata, it reminds me of Tangi. Remember Tangi from Kung Pao? No? Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Mm. But anywho. <clears throat> uh, piñata. Tangi. Yay. <laughs> 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 you do so well. Uh, but anyway, Discord house needs to change. Uh, and he calls in renovators himself and makes things normal, quote unquote normal. Um, taking away. I wonder if his, his other cells are union workers. <laughs> uh, they sound like it. Ay, ay, ay. Although we do learn that Discord himself is a shipper. Oh. It's used with the ginsengs. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he ships them right out. And, and a free, uh, well, all around Equestria trip. Yay! <laughs> so uh, he he renovates his house to make it look normal, from stairs that don't go nowhere, being out, um, comfortable chairs being on the ground instead of on the ceiling, and you know what? It's you. It's one of those things where you guys need to go watch it to understand because the things that we are saying here. Would not make sense at all. And that's how Discord is. It's like trying to describe the sunrise. You can't truly capture the moment. You can only encourage people to view it themselves. Indeed. And make Nicolas Cage references as Discord tries a beehive hairdo <laughs> as actual bees. <laughs> not the bees! <laughs> not the bees! Ah! They're in my eyes! Ah! Uh, and also, we, we have to mention that Discord is, um, hmm, Discord is the fursuiter. <laughs> he wears fursuits. Yes, he, he full cosplays as Fluttershy. That's not creepy. Yep, totally. Not at all. Not, not at all. It's normal, right? Uh, we, we all do it on the weekends. As people ship them in <laughs> unique ways. Indeed, to- totally, unique ways. totally. But one thing I need to mention is the outfit, like from the Prince reference to the Bad Boy Rapper reference. I got no idea who that is. To the Q outfit. <laughs> I, I can't believe they pulled that off. The Q, you mean the red one? That's more of a medieval lord. Uh, I think. Although I think Q, Q probably cosplayed as a uh, medieval lord at one point. But if you're talking about the judge's robes from when he first appeared, it's a little different. And I'm showing my full Star Trek nerd ossity <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Uh, but anywho, uh, we go to the last outfit and it's Mr. Rogers. Would you be my? Would you be my neighbor? <laughs> it's Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm just sad that some people listening to this right now are going, who's Mr. Rogers? Uh, I'm... You have all been denied something important. And to tell you the truth. Something tr- beautiful. Indeed. And to tell you the truth, I'm, I had ne- I've never seen an episode of uh, Mr. Rogers. All I know is from uh, YC. Uh, 
Well, you have to remember, Silver. Ah. You have ah. to, you have to remember. Ah. <laughs> you have to remember, Silver. It's something for you guys and not for well, um, international borders. So from what I can tell, he's a really awesome dude. That's all I know, and he's ah. a really nice guy. And I wish I saw him. What first? First TPP, and now you don't watch Mr. Rogers. Not, I don't even know you anymore. It's not my <laughs> choice. It's not my choice. Uh. Oh, someone's forcing you to drink the PPP? <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, boy. So, so um, the next day arrives. Well, I, I think it's the same day. I, I don't know. Time in this court's world is really wobbly timey why me. But anywho, so Tishai arrives and she is very excited to, well, head into Discord's house, hoping to see mad, mad things like flying furniture or stairs that go nowhere and even, um, flying stuff. I, I don't know. Use the imagination. And when she goes into the house, it's totally normal. Yes. Totally, totally normal. If I was Fluttershy, so boring. I know. If I was Fluttershy in this scenario here, I would have thought that, okay, um, this girl's setting me up. Um, I, I, I think he'll surprise me. Yes, I, I'll be waiting for the surprise. Mm-hmm. It'll be soon. Yes. And no, it. This girl's playing it straight. This girl is making things really, really normal. Too normal. That it seems that. Being normal for Discord is a hazard. Boring is what he is. And this, this is the, the low point of the episode because, you know, it's relying on the fact this is boring. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, but in all honesty, Silver, um, let's just say that Discord is doing this just to trick Fluttershy. Would you think that it's a good setup? I don't know. I mean, Surely the truest way to surprise someone is to make them think it, think that there is no surprise. But I think that would work better if Fluttershy were afraid of a surprise. Uh. Or if she was on guard trying to best Discord. That would be a tactic I'd love to see him use against Rainbow Dash, who is always sort of up in his grill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, usually. She's gotten better. Mm -hmm. I got better. (laughs) Yes, indeedy. It would be interesting, but as it is, when because we know he's being sincere about this, we know there's no surprise coming. We're just like, okay, I need something here. <laughs> Throw yeah. me a lifeline, MLP. Yeah, I'm fading. Uh, oh wait, so is he? Yeah, and, and, and that's the part where oh wow, oh this is more development for Discord because we always seen him to be the prankster, the joker, the guy who is always making Twilight's life a living nightmare. And um, we get to see that what happens if he just behaves. Um, no, making Discord behave is a bad, bad thing. You, you do not want that. And Slatishai sees sees this and oh no I, I I need to do something Discord uh, snap your fingers Discord can't because uh, it seems that being transparent makes him very very um how do I put this see through uh, he can't even touch himself oh my Norman really there <laughs> might be children listening I knew you were gonna for- <laughs> I knew it but anywho um for the shiny sites okay this this is not good. We need to do some chaotic things. Okay, I shall flip a teacup. Oh. Take a bite of each sandwich. Oh, yes. Which is adorable in its own way. Yep, but Fluttershy thinks here, oh no, this is too small, this is too small. What would Discord do? Have multiple uh, versions of myself to bounce ideas at. And you know what? I think here Fluttershy knows Discord. Like, she knows Discord well, and She's doing everything what Discord does. Like, even from the thing that she mentioned before going to the house. Um, uh, teas that are ginseng, that can sing or something like that, or the flying cutlery. So, I mean, she is living Discord's mindset right now. And to me, this is adorable. She expects going into Discord's house to be a chaotic mess. But no, having it be normal surprised her. And it was not a pleasant surprise. But, as for now, Fluttershy is doing 
everything in her power to make things chaotic from making stairs that go nowhere to furniture that is upside down then gravity well define the law of gravity that's what she's doing here's a completely pointless question where did she find the hammer nails and and goggles (laughs) well first thing for silver safety first and second it's this god's realm (laughs) Cartoon logic. I totally agree on that one. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I love that I nearly ruined the episode for everyone. Oh, God, ruined forever. Thanks, Silver Shaw. <clears throat> well, the thing is, uh, you know, I'm not even going to question that because the more you question it, the more it's going to get ruined. And I'm just going to say it's this Scott's realm. If you think of chaotic stuff, it'll happen because that almost happened in the book. You know what? Does this have to do something with that recent uh, IDW comic? Like, is this the book there? No? Well, some people have said this actually contradicts uh, the the Discord uh, chaos theory arc. Basically, you know, it, he chaos, therefore he is. Mm-hmm. However, I'm going to say that if Discord truly changed who he was to be orderly, then his survival then depends on creating order. So I don't view it as a contradiction. However, the comics have always had a fickle relationship with the show and continuity. More to the point, Chaos Theory ended on sort of a sour note, so I'm happy to leave it by in the realm of continuity limbo. We'll deal more with limbo down the road. Oh, yeah. And I'm not talking about what you would call this uh, Chaos Theory. I'm just talking about the issue where Pinkie Pie got into that world. Because here's the thing with the IDW comics now. Uh, maybe I'm jumping ahead, like we're still reviewing the Pony comics here, but I, I just need to bring it up because to me what I'm seeing here and what I mentioned before is tie-ins. A lot of the books now are tying into the series and like, I, I don't know if you agree with me or not with this one, Silver, but do you think that the chapter uh, 57 or book 57, what happened when Pinky gets uh, trapped in this God's dimension. Do you think that issue happens after this? Because it feels like it. That issue, which is later and the comics started to get a little, they were more on the same page as uh, as the show. That one I thought was pretty fun. I guess we'll, we'll review it down the way. But, you know, Pinky in the Chaos Realm does seem like a recipe for disaster. All right, okay. Uh, I just managed to open the first page and, oh, wow. I'll read a line from Fluttershy. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so very much for hosting this week, Discord. So it could be or it could be spamming the future. I, I don't know. It's could be placed anywhere. Oh, it, it's definitely in the future because Fluttershy references his depowerment. Ah, yes. So it's not after, but okay. It's after this episode. Directly after or somewhere along the future? Yes. Well, we'll be reviewing it in the future as well. All right. Because I am so confused. Like, like I mentioned before, tie-ins all over the place. Oy, let's not get into that now. Uh, we have the review to do. And yes, this got, it's back to normal. So are we. It is adorable as then Fluttershy, uh, as a chase lounge that actually chases you. <laughs> Why did they call it a chase down? Well, there you go. Here And here's uh, what I would give for Rarity to be in this world and just see it. The freak out and breakdown she would enjoy would be epic. Oh, God. So epic. Oh, oh God. Yes, but anywho, uh, things get back to normal, as normal as can be with Discord. And Fluttershy is happy. And they totally enjoy the moment. Fluttershy says, Discord, you don't need to change for me. I appreciate you for you, and you're awesome. Well, it's kind of funny that this, in many ways, it does this better than simple ways. Mm -hmm. And even the more recent episode, Uncommon Bond, I'd argue that it does it better than Uncommon Bond did. Because it really, it's celebrating the fact that we're different, that we don't have all these things in common, but we still enjoy one another. Because they take us out of our comfort zone. And arguably, Discord more than any other has forced Fluttershy to adapt to life outside her comfort zone. Oh, totally. I mean, like, out of all of the main characters here, I I think Discord is the quote-unquote not normal one. (laughs) 
And well, with that revelation done, uh, Fluttershy says, I like you for you. You don't need to change yourself to anyone else. I like you. And one scene here says shipping. We do shipping. Just one scene? Well, there's one scene. Face to face, Fluttershy holding Discord's cheek. Now, there's a fanfic out there that continues my train of thought. <laughs> Yes, but where's the TPP fanfic? Uh, Writers, get on that. Fulfill Norman's sick fantasy. I no, no, no. But anywho, <clears throat> Discord, <laughs> Discord changes into something more comfortable. And oh, um, that's awkward. Um, changing into um, Fluttershy. Yes. That's another fanfic right there. Oh wow! All the ship fix. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and Fluttershy does it better than I. She, she totally expects this. And yes, they have fun in the, well, home, having s'mores, hanging upside down and having to chase their own sandwiches. Uh, it's adorable. It's adorable. And with that, episode ends. Honestly, I think that's probably a great way to work out any calories you might gain by eating, attending on tea party. Uh, well, oh, that looks sinful. <laughs> that's a good thing I have to chase it down. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, but still. <laughs> With that, episode ends. And Silver, um, what do you think of this episode, man? Oh, it's great fun. I mean, it's got great visuals. It's Discord fully interacting with the environment again, which makes him the most fun and the most interesting. And then Fluttershy, when you get to see her be a little chaotic in an adorable, still timid but not cowardly way, it's just fantastic all around. I found this delightful, <laughs> yes. delightful and joyful. Indeed, indeed. So, and like I say, I, I think it... Covered the idea of both changing yourself and being different from your friends better than some other episodes have, have attempted. In all honesty, um, when I think about um, Uncommon Bond, that's not really about changing oneself, but the idea of, as friends, do you still need that common thing to get along? Like, for Starlight and... What's his name again? Sunburst. Sunburst? Yes, and Sunburst they have been away from each other for a while now and they practically don't have anything in common anymore. And with that, sometimes, well, that's a review for another day. To me, those are two different lessons to be taught. But hey, you do bring up a good point. Changing yourself is more uh, simple ways, but friends with different tastes is uncommon bond. But this is both. And arguably, I do think it does it better. Pinky's cameo is fun, but... You know, it's short-lived. And people had to point this out, uh, partly when I did a review of that comic with Pinky in the Chaos Dimension. Mm -hmm. We do see the male pony from What About uh, Make New Friends But Keep Discord. Oh. Poor guy is still floating around in the Chaos Realm. <laughs> oh, my God. It, you see him through the door frame as the multiple Discords enter the house to renovate it. Oh, God. And you just think, oh, my God, is he trying to make another delivery? Or has he never gotten out? Neither rain nor sleet, I imagine. Uh, where, in this episode here or in the yes. comics? In this episode. Oh, wow, really? No. I, I, I need to go double check it myself. Give me a second. Uh, oh, wow. That, that, would be, that would be scary as heck. Like, who says this guy is still a good guy? Oh, yo, yo. He's not killing him. But I don't have to save you either. Oh, yeah. Because I'm bad Discord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him floating around in the back. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Na, 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 bad cord. Na, 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 bad cord. Bad cord. Bad cord. Clown snakes. Oh, so scary. But anywho, you done, Silva? I'd better be. I need a lozenge after that. Oh, God. And anyway, as for me, this episode was a fun one. I do like the interaction between Fluttershy and Discord. And there's a few ships that I really want to happen. And that is the Fluttershy and Discord ship, the Rainbow Dash Sorin ship, the, well, insert ship here, I like it ship. Um, I think this uh, Doctor Hooves and Derpy, that's a ship I want to happen. But still, there's a lot of ships out there. And this episode here says why they're a great couple if they're not in a loving relationship they make good friends so yay this episode really says a lot 
It also says how stick and twisted Discord is as he imbues objects with life only for them to die. Uh, he is the Lord of Chaos. You know, you bring this up a lot, Silver, but have you seen the interview that Emmy Larson did at BronyCan? Did he talk about uh, Discord and Harmony? Because I mostly uh, just knew his semi-defense of Slice of Life. Well, I'm not pointing that out in general, but I'm just saying that how Discord changed from when he first wrote him. And the idea for Discord or the character for Discord is he is a character after, even after being reformed, just wants to make Twilight's life miserable. He's not malice about it, but he just wants to, you know, make things hard for Twilight. Oh, he can be good friends with Fluttershy, totally. But I, he just wants to make things a living nightmare for Twilight once in a while. He's not forcing her to drink the singing tea. Meh. <laughs> yeah, but like having knowing that and watching this, it does bring up a few things about Discord's character. And it is interesting to know one thing happening there and happening here. It's, I don't know, like to me, it would be interesting to see what happened if Larson had his way, but he didn't, and so on. Well, I'll have to watch the later half of that that interview. It was a long end. Oh, yeah, but it was really worth it. <laughs> but still, Norman, I've discovered the depths of your own depravity. You sick, twisted soul. Oh, you. you, you you're sick and twisted, too. We all are. We all are. But anywho... I don't dream, of, I don't dream about tea, PP. <laughs> oh, you... Oh, we, 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 we need to stop that. But anywho. <laughs> uh, no, I have found a stick with which to strike you <laughs> and the singing piñata. Oh, God. Oh, God. But anywho, with this episode done, we'll be doing another review. And next week's review will be, uh, well, episode 13, The Perfect Pair. Um, that episode is a very oh, awesome. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yep. It's so beautiful. Yep. And another Star Trek alumni comes along. Yay. But anywho, um, what can I say? What can I say? Uh, oh yeah. One thing I need to bring up is Sappy. Uh, if you notice she's not around, that's because she's not around. Uh, family had to do something, so she had to went off. She says she's sorry, and I think she likes this episode. Yay. Yay. So anywho, if you guys at home would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, deleted contents, and even exclusive. And you'll get a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurka, Cat, and Dracatorius, Starstream, and also Master of Lag. Thank you for the support, guys. And well, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Cecilia Quayle. And we'll guys catch you next week with more fun reviews. See ya. Adios. And let the shipping begin. Oh yes, commence the ships. All the shipping. Yes. Who do you ship Twilight with, Silver? Well, I've created Clutter Step a while back and always liked the idea of that as a couple. I don't know why people come down on OC versus Canon, but whatever. Oh yeah. By the way, I need to ask. Uh, in the uh, special mo- movie that you, well, not really movie, but short that you did for, I forgot who, with the pointy ponies, you're turning into clusters. You turn into clutter step. What happened? Well, that was an idea they threw out a while ago that hippogriffs were never part of the original vision of Equestria. Uh, so I defaulted to another OC. Ah, uh, all right, that makes sense.